In my last slip bobber video, I had a lot of comments about the slip stop sliding, regardless if you have a rubber bobber stop or a yarn stop or some sort of braid setup. This thing is tangled for some reason. There we go. But today I wanted to talk about just a little tip that uh, is gonna help prevent a lot of, of that stop sliding down the line, specifically when you're reeling in a fish. Um, it's a super simple thing to do. Uh, you're running a little bit of risk of having the fish come off, but for the most part, you're not gonna lose too many fish doing this. Um, so I'm gonna set up on this little piece of brush pile right here. We're in pretty shallow water, about eight feet, but there's crappie suspended right above it. So. We're gonna use a little slip bobber setup, and yes, this is a slip bobber. I know people ask questions about, oh, it's got a spring on it. No, it's got two little notches. One, it allows it to slide up and down the line like this, and the other one's a fixed position that locks it in. You can also run it right through the middle of the bobber like a regular slip bobber, but uh, we're gonna hop up here. I'm gonna hop up here, you're gonna watch, and I'm gonna show you a little quick tip that's gonna help prevent that slip stop from sliding. Well, I'm sure you got some pretty bad sun glare right now, but Unfortunately, this is the only way I could fish this, this piece of brush. I can actually see, it's only about six, seven feet deep, and I can actually see the top of it. And these fish are actually stacked up on the kind of surrounding it. They're not quite on top, but they're suspended around it. Can't believe it. August, 82 degree water temp, and there's some crappie in six, seven feet of water. This is not typical for up north. But the quick tip here, once we do get into a fish, is I'm, I'm gonna give a little bit of slack and I'm gonna reel through my bobber stop. Now, it does help if you got some bobber stops that are pretty visible. If you have bobber stops that are, you know, the yarn, the pink yarn stops, or they do make rubber bobber stops that are red. So the more visible it is, the easier it's gonna be for you to do something like this. Um, since I got this high vis line, I can actually see the black bobber stop pretty good but you're just gonna give it a little bit of slack and you're gonna reel through it. If it can get through the first couple eyelets right from the rod tip, usually you don't have any trouble getting that slip stop all the way through to your reel and usually it won't slide. There he is. All right, about time. So I, I got a little excited because I've been sitting here a little bit, <laughs> but uh, I gave it a little slack right as that bobber stop is going through that first eyelet, the eyelet right on the on the tip of the rod. There's a crappie. There's a crappie in six feet of water right now in August. That's crazy. But you give it just that little bit of slack, you reel through it, and then you can pick up that taut line again. Oh, there he is. Yep. Oh, this is that quick reel. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Ooh, ooh, easy, easy. Just a quick, quick reel with a little bit of slack and you reel right through that rubber bobber stop and won't get caught in that top violet. That guy's going to the live well. I've been crep, I've been catching crappie in like 20, 25 feet, pretty much all, well, 15 to 20 feet all summer, so. This bite, it, it, I'm so used to setting the hook and then having them come up like five seconds later because these fish are right at the surface pretty much as soon as I set the hook. Because we're only in six, seven feet of water, it's crazy. There he is. Bobber went sideways. Crappie are a jumping. This is a this is a crazy August bite right now. Super shallow water. Ooh, yeah, so shallow the trolling motor just smacked the bottom there. Probably not good for the prop. The one thing I did notice in the comments section of people that maybe have never tried slip bobbers or don't fish with them very often, they do get frustrated with how much they gotta constantly adjust the slip. And you know it's, that is kind of the one downfall to, to slip bobber fishing is your slips will slide. I don't care if you got the yarn, the braid, the rubber bobber stops. At some point, after you catch X amount of fish, they are going to slide at some point. You're going to have to adjust the depth again. Um, 
But the one thing it does that slip bobbers are so good at is just suspending that bait over the top of those fish. Right now, I'm I'm in six, seven feet of water. The brush comes up basically to the surface, but there's little pockets that are kind of open, and I got the wind pushing fresh water into this back little cove here. And these crappie, I can, I don't need the live scope to see them. I can actually see some of them kicking their tails. Every once in a while, they'll come up, and there's there's uh, minnows and stuff. They'll come up, and you can see their their tails kick. We're pretty much at the surface, but they're sitting kind of in these gaps in the timber. And this slip bobber just allows me to suspend this small little plastic and let that wind just drift it. Every single one of these fish, I haven't been really popping it too much. I'm just kind of letting the wind drift the bobber back into the back of this cove and they just seem to hit it. So don't get too frustrated with it, even if you haven't tried slip bobber fishing before, because it is a really good tool, because it is a really great method to, dis to suspend a jig right in front of crappie's faces. Oh, here's another one. Oh, oh no. I don't know if you saw that, but I was kind of trying to get the boat in position on the other side of this piece of brush. And I'm pretty sure either a bass or a pike just snapped me off. So now I got to get my bobber because it slid off back out here reposition the boat on this side of this brush pile I'd like to be on that side but it's just too shallow and my trolling motor keeps hitting the bottom there he is oh that's a good fish if that's a crappie oh it is a crappie real through the line come here buddy he hammered it absolutely hammered it I do have to be honest, I don't think bobber fishing this, probably not the best approach, probably casting over the top of them, probably be the best approach to catch these fish. But I did want to show you the little tip, give it a little bit of slack right when that bobber stop gets through that, gets right to that eyelet, give it a little bit of slack real quick, get that bobber stop through the eyelet. I'm going to throw him in the live well. And uh, it should prevent a lot of that stop from sliding up and down the line, a lot less readjusting over time. All right, so I'm just going to go to straight casting, but this is probably going to wrap it up for me. I'm going to catch a few more here for the live well and fry them up tonight. If you notice, I just slide my bobber stop right to the top of my jig. That way I can always use this rod as a slip bobber setup if I need to. Um, this is the 8-foot ACC, 1,000 size PC Fun Viper X reel. You can get 18% off this this reel with flopping 18 as a discount code, probably their best bang for their buck. I mean, if you're talking a panfish reel, the Viper X series is your, your best bang for your buck. Six pound monofilament, 1 16th size ACC crappie sticks jigs, and this is the Euro Tackle B Vibe, which you can get 10% off at. Use promo code flopping crappie for the Euro Tackle discount code. But uh, yeah, if you got any comments or questions about the setup, anything I was using, the tactics, kind of how I found these fish, I actually just found them with side imaging. I was idling out here. I was going to make a run down river, and uh, I just happened to see them on side imaging. They lit up like a Christmas tree, so figured I'd make a few casts at them, and sure enough, they were crappie. I actually thought they were bluegill at first, because they. I wouldn't think of crappie being in seven feet of water. First week of August, water temps are 82 degrees. I would not guess they were there this far north. Down south, yeah, but I think what's kind of helping it is got a lot of wind pushing colder water from the main channel into this back channel area. And this is pretty muddy water. So that muddy water, the sunlight doesn't penetrate as deep or it doesn't warm up as fast as clear water does. So I think that's kind of the one, one and two reason why those crappie are set up there. But appreciate you watching as always. Be sure to use this tactic. Be sure to go slip bobber fishing. It's worth a shot, even if you have some frustrations with it, because it's a great technique to suspend a jig, a minnow, anything over a school of fish and get bites pretty much year round. So if you got any comments or questions, you can either post in the comment section below or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this summer and into the fall. We'll see you.